when it comes to mosquito control, you can definitely put essential oil, you know, directly on your skin. And that does have a tendency to keep those off of you because mosquitoes have very sensitive smell and they're put off by eucalyptus oil and lemon. If you want to do something more systemic to your yard, this is what I'm using this year, garlic barrier. It's an all natural repellent and it also actually kills on contact mosquitoes. This is a fogging machine that has a two gallon capacity on it. Now you can see the nozzle rotates. To apply this solution, it's a one to 50 concentration. So one part uh, garlic goes into the tank there to 50 parts water. I happen to get the corded kind, but they do have ones with battery packs as well. So I'll link this product. It's a pretty cool machine, not only for this application, but anytime you need to spray your trees. So here's how you carry this. It does come with a harness, makes it easy. Power button right on the top, and it has a throttle here on the spray. <laughs> Unfortunately, I find that this only lasts about two days. Problem is my neighbors don't treat for mosquitoes, so inevitably, even though I kill everything in my yard, mosquitoes from their yards come in eventually. So just something I do to make it a little bit more pleasant to be outside during this time. For a long-term solution, a pond is actually fantastic because the mosquito actually will lay their eggs in a body of water. And with my pond, I've got gambusia or mosquito fish in this pond. They were populated from the very beginning and they control those mosquitoes by actually eating the larvae. So they do not have a chance to hatch. So these guys do a great job at breaking that life cycle so that you minimize the populations in your yard. Not everyone has a pond. Another solution is you can just get a five gallon bucket like you see here. Uh, this has been out here for about 30 days. So you can see it's pretty nasty, offering the perfect inviting area for female mosquito to lay their eggs. What I've done though is I've put inside this bucket of water a product called Mosquito Dunks. The active ingredient there is BT. I'm familiar with that one because I've used this on grapevines in the past to control those caterpillars, um, also on roses and canas. These are formed like a donut. You can just break half off and then stick it in your bucket, you know, every, at least every 30 days. T to prevent lizards or birds or anything to get in here, I the grill, just a paint roller grill on top. Nothing else, I hope that this gives you at least some ideas on how to combat mosquitoes in your yard. Thanks for watching and happy gardening.